Mr. President, I want to, uh, to speak today to the Sportsman's Act of 2015, and I want to start out and just acknowledge uh, the great work by the Chair of the Energy and Natural Resources, Senator Murkowski of Alaska, uh, who has been um, uh, a great partner in uh, quickly moving this legislation forward. Uh, the Sportsman's Act of 2015 is gaining new momentum and earning widespread bipartisan support. From both sides of the aisle, from the East Coast to the West Coast, and frankly, everywhere in between. Improving access for hunters and anglers, restoring wildlife habitat, and protecting the way of life that so many of us cherish are things we can all agree on. Because as, as Americans, we all have a unique and deep connection to the outdoors. The Sportsman's Act of 2015 includes a broad array of bipartisan measures to enhance opportunities for hunters and anglers and outdoor recreation enthusiasts. It reauthorizes key conservation programs, improves access to our public lands, and helps boost the outdoor recreation economy. Hunting is a way of life for me and for many families across this great nation. And like many New Mexicans, my 11-year-old uh, son and I went elk hunting on public land last fall. And the bull elk that we brought home will feed our family for most of the coming year. But more importantly, the experience of backpacking into the Sangre de Cristos and the Carson National Forest, sleeping on the ground and hearing the elk bugle all around us, those things will feed my son's imagination for decades to come. The Sportsman's Act will help ensure that American families can pass on these outdoor traditions year after year and for generations to come. Now, when I travel around New Mexico and I talk with, with sportsmen and sportswomen, their number one issue today is access. And that's why I'm so pleased that a provision that I've been championing to unlock countless public lands is included in this package. Public lands like the Gila Wilderness or the Valles Caldera National Preserve, the Rio Grande del Norte National Monument, are some of the most special places to hunt and fish left on the planet. The Hunt Act directs all federal public land management agencies to identify our shared lands where hunting and fishing and outdoor recreation are permitted, but where access is non-existent or significantly restricted and develop plans to provide that access. Additionally, a provision led by my colleague, Montana Senator John Tester, is also included in this bill to require a percentage of our land and water conservation funds to be made available to improve recreationally ac recreational access uh, to difficult to reach public lands. And among many other bipartisan, pragmatic measures to enhance opportunities for hunters and anglers, the Sportsman's, the Sportsman's Act would also reauthorize NACA, the North American Wetlands Conservation Act, the National Fish and Wildlife Foundation, and the Federal Land Transaction Facilitation Act. It's clear that these efforts increase and reaffirm our country's commitment to the conservation of fish and wildlife habitat, but they're just as important, Mr. Mr. President, for the future of our economy across the West. Nationally, according to the Outdoor Industry Association, more than 140 million Americans either make their living off the outdoors or make outdoor recreation a priority in their daily lives. And when they do that, they end up spending 646 billion, billion with a B, dollars on outdoor recreation, resulting in quality jobs for another 6.1 million Americans. In my home state of New Mexico, a small state with just 2 million people, outdoor recreation generates more than $6 billion a year. It provides 68,000 jobs and $1.7 billion in wages and annual salaries. And a survey done recently by New Mexico Game and Fish found that sportsmen alone spend more than $613 million per year in our state. 
This boost to our economy is felt by business owners, by outfitter guides, by hotels and restaurants, gas stations, the entire local community, and especially in our rural communities. The truth is our deep connection to the outdoors is part of the American experience, and it's part of our heritage and our culture in the West. It's something that we learn from our mothers and our fathers, and it's something we pass down to our sons and our daughters. The Sportsman's Act will help protect that heritage and ensure it continues for generations to come.